Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 where I will be reading my messages. Urgent message from Admiral Hackett. Command that as an alliance researcher working on Citadel named Dr. Garrett Bryson, I need you to meet with him right away. Oh, that's right, that's part of the DLC. Dr. Bryson has uncovered important new information about Reapers that could have a direct bearing on the war. I'm officially directing you to support his efforts at the first possible opportunity. Please visit Bryson, Bryson's laboratory on the Citadel. <laughs> this address is valid! <laughs> Shepard, I've called and sent messages but gotten no response. So there's a comm system, sy system out. <laughs> I don't expect this will get through either, but I heard a rumor that the Normandy would docked here at the Citadel. Are you alive? I'm at Huerta Memorial Hospital under the name Tanner Nuara. Please excuse the moniker and this email's encryption in my line of work. It is unwise to advertise my location, particularly when I am not in good health. We should meet again before circumstances force us apart again. Thanks. We're going straight back to the Citadel. Oh, yeah. Hey, Caden. There's some combination of medical mir miracle and dumb luck. I survived the beating I took on Mars. I have to say I'm still not ready to be released, but I'd really like to see you again if you can spare the time. Counselor Dino offered to make me a specter. So thinking about whether or not I should accept, stop by my room at the hospital when you're on the Citadel. I'd like your advice. Thanks. Oh yeah, Jean Dumbao. I'm with uh, Special Tactics and Recon. While some still concerns about your past activity with Cerberus, many of us in STNR took your warnings about the Reapers seriously. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents with significant political power to the Reapers. If you have time to meet me in the Citadel Embassy, I'd appreciate your discreet assistance. Sincerely, Jean Dumbao from the Citadel STG and the Spectres. Meet me in Purgatory. I have a proposition for you, Shepard. You don't want to pass it up. I'm in a nightclub in the Citadel called Purgatory. Don't make me wait too long. Aria. So, yes, I'm going to be getting the Omega... Um... The Omega... DLC. I'm super distracted. Because... 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 We're going to go... And see Dave. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> so sad. I'd ra I wish you could just come with us. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Can I talk to you? Commander. I didn't get to talk to you about, like, your family and stuff. I was busy. <sighs> Out we go! Get me out of here! Wait, no. Yes, here. DLC kind of activates and you can like get the house and stuff. Can't really remember. <laughs> the Alliance docks, you fool! I think this will be the first time of our own volition we are docking. And it should give me options on where I want to go. We are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport around? Hospital! I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. I like that. I like that you can get the private travel private dock, I don't know what she said, private transport type thing. I mean, I kind of wonder what Shepard would be feeling like. <sighs> like, oh my gosh, like, I can talk to you, but there's so much stuff going on, like, just, but, but really wanting to talk to you, and I don't know. Oh, last time I think I saw him from the other side. Modified meta gel is low, but no, you, you don't understand. Sort of this isn't for. Listen, I am a surgeon at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. We have several the alien patients here at this time, and we need no regular meta gel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. 
I still don't know why he's doing, he's punching the window. See her. <laughs> I heard Earth was under attack. I didn't know you'd made it out. I'm sorry. Jane, it's been too long. I was beginning to think I'd never see you again. I sent a few messages while you were incarcerated, but I suspect they never got past the guards. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. I answer your message! Me. The human biotic in intensive care. <coughs> I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He was holding out hope that a woman would visit him. Is there something I should know about you two? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he did tell me all about uh, his wife, so... Uh... We were together for a while before the first Normandy was destroyed. And grew apart, I gather. Creepy! You may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. Thank you. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Don't say it! I have only a few loves left. Well, I see you want to make up for I last forgot time. that, that was a, I there was an action there. I should not want your final memories of me to be in this hospital. Keprel's syndrome is... not kind. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I'm so sorry. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. I sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. <laughs> Goal! The time for when Shepard is able to rest from war and conflict. Like, I think she's still in the fight, you know? Like, she's not ready to, to rest, but, but there will come a time at the end when she's ready to just find peace. I don't know, but... Part of me doesn't like the fact that Thane is stuck in a hospital when he said the last thing he wanted for his de last days was to be strapped to a machine. But at the same time, I can appreciate that he has found peace now and he can be close to his son here and everything. And we couldn't provide him the medical attention he needs on the Normandy. It's just an emer it's basically an emergency sick bay, you know? So, but... And I wouldn't want him to be suffering on the ship. You know what I mean? Like, I, it would kill me to know that he's slowly dying faster on my ship. You know what I mean? It's hard being away, but it's hard watching him be in pain, too. You know, like, I don't know. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. And maybe, like, he had, like, I think he expressed fear at the, at the end of Mass Effect 2. There was fear and doubt still. And I don't know if that was because of his relationship with Shepard or if he would have felt that anyway, but he just wouldn't have known, really. Um, like, I mentioned it in the Mass Effect 2 video, too. Um, but... Maybe the fight and, like, his relationship with Shepard, like, he felt like everything is at peace now, like, with, with his son and everything, but let's go! I've got a few free moments. Do you want to spend a little time together? She's so creepy about it. I'd like that. 
For reals. You should understand that my cardiovascular system. <laughs> You were saying something? <laughs> I've missed you, Shepard. Fane, I've missed you. I feel like it's almost like we just did the dirty in the freaking, like, in the lobby, but... Pretty sure that's not how it went. <laughs> but... Coming by again, Shepard? I'm flattered. <laughs> I wish there were other th there's a there's a there's a a mod on the PC that people have been showing me where like you can you can have different like conversation options a little bit and like you can actually you can get the paramour achievement because even though this is I technically reinstigated things with Thane like you don't get the paramour achievement I've never gotten it in Mass Effect 3 because I've only played with this shepherd basically and for some reason, the Thane romance doesn't count for whatever reason. And so the mod also gives you the Paramour achievement, which I think was is a big slap in the face. So, like, it's not a big deal, but it's, it's, it's like a little slap in the face to not get that, even though you're like... Because I know technically you can instigate... Like, I could reinstigate the romance with Caden right now. I could do those things. But, like, I... I, I reinstigated things with Thane, you know? So I'm, I was just, and it's really interesting how this game plays out in my head with this particular character, knowing that it wasn't that like she didn't romance anybody, it was that she romanced Thane, and, and then when he's gone, and because he can't be with you all the time, like, even when, you, when he's here, um, it's just, it just puts so much weight on Shepard the losses and everything that she, and she could share it with Garrus in a way but it's not the same as when it's with like a lover you know like and and I don't know I wish the best for you Thane I think of us often Sia but we always knew it would come to an end and that well in the is just have. so perhaps we will see each other again what do you mean Brad? and I think it's like what do you mean of course I'm gonna come by and see you again but I think he might mean um, like now that I'm thinking about it he might mean in like sort of like an afterlife type way but it's just so sad to see him here like just sitting here like I don't know I don't know Commander he should Shepherd. be out Good to see I don't you. know Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. How is Caden doing? Stable. There's no evidence of cognitive impairment from the concussion. But multiple shoulder fractures are still on the mend. Oh, shoot. Bed rest under observation is all that's needed now. I'm sure a visit would be welcomed. This war has left a lot of injured people homeless. How's your center handling the extra load? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. Yeah. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. Yeah. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Yeah. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. I'll keep bringing them in. We were deployed to Tip Tree. It's a small human Tip colony. Tree. We were supposed to help with evac. The enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of the big ones. We were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tip Tree. Well, and it's like the Asari, apparently, they weren't, they're not just sitting on the sidelines. Like, they were helping to evacuate a human colony, you know? It just, it kills me that he's just sitting there. It just, 
I mean, I know he's supposed to be at peace and whatever, blah, 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 but it kills me that it's he's just sitting there. It's tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the B.I. in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. I don't really understand. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political Why would his political enemies to get the hospital name changed? To why would they he change it to Huerta Memorial? The BI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless. I don't really understand the argument. I should. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. Yeah, you don't, for one thing, if nothing else, I support the medical staff because this woman is bringing up a completely irrelevant topic in some, in, in this, like, time that we're in. You know what I mean? I don't know why it's a human guy who's, like, reporting at the Citadel. Yo! Yes. a call to Grissom Academy. They have biotic amp interfaces I may be able to adapt for Asari use. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Of course. If these interfaces make our commandos better on the field, I'll hold for as long as you need. Lots of humans, lots of Salarians, lots of Asari. I can't remember where, but I know that in some places there are little quests you can get, but we'll go see Caden. I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you. No more than ever. I don't really know why he chose Caden. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Caden can't, can't even get out of bed right now. Udina? Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Udina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? That was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. <laughs> well, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell, but I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. <laughs> I'm a doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled, so doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. He's got a nosebleed going. Need me to going. break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're going to be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. Yeah, because you didn't you shoot! Me then. So I just want to make sure, after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together. At each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listened, too. And when I told you about how Rana broke my heart, you didn't judge me. You knew I needed that. We went through Asha's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? <sighs> Are we good? Yes. We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. It was. Thanks. It really was. What's going on? 
Is there something else? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I heard something about you and some assassin. Yeah, don't, uh. <laughs> uh, hmm. I should have saved before this. Uh, last time I did this one, but. Our fight on Horizon really threw me. You just shut me down. I know. I just couldn't believe my eyes. There you were, alive. Can we, um... Can we just put this behind us? Please. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but... I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Yes. Will do. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Something else, Shepard? Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I did this before. Did I? I don't know. I liked that, though, that, that one that was like, I, you really threw me. Like, it's not completely shutting things down because in the original playthrough, I didn't quite shut things down with Caden until later. Um, but, um... I like that one better because the first one when you say I'm sorry is like you were just so far away and we hadn't seen each other in so long and I'm really sorry and I was like I'm not sorry I'm not sorry I fell in love with Thane like no, no I'm not sorry but yeah that made that made more sense it was like you know like you know I fell in love with somebody else because because the same reasons you said that you started seeing other people like so, sort of you know like I mean he thought I was dead and everything but like, I don't know, time and distance can make people grow apart and you get affection for other people. Are we going to be able to get past what happened on Horizon? I'd like to, Shepard. I'd like to move past the harsh words and be friends. At least. So, how do we fix it? I'll admit, I own a lot of that. You were standing right in front of me and I was... I shut you down. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so let's just put it behind us and get on with what's important right now. Okay. Bury it? Bury it. Forgive it. I... I think that's how we get past Horizon. Interesting. All right. Nice. Where's your family? Are they safe? My family? My parents live in Vancouver. But Dad's family owns an orchard in the BC interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. Heard from them? No, not yet. But I hope... Well, I'm hoping Dad's Alliance training has kept them safe. Must be killing them not knowing where I am. Oh, man. How are you? See, it flipped things around. You said your implant got rattled. Everything good? Uh, the medical gibberish was a bit more impressive, but that's what I took from <laughs> Rattle. Medical gibberish. Found a great doc at HQ that's fascinated by the L2 implant. Kind of her pet project. Nice. The headaches are as bad as ever, but she's, she's got me on a regimen of acupuncture and meds and some nasty tasting concoction. Won't tell me what it is. <laughs> but my biotics are stronger than ever. Maybe some things get better with age. <laughs> or maybe you have. <laughs> Are you flirting with me, Commander? Eh. Wait, wait. What? Don't tell me. Let me live in the illusion. Aw, Caden. He really is. He's, I, I love, I love Caden. I do. He's always going to have a special place, you know, because he was like the first, like, dude to fell in love with in Mass Effect, but. And he is incredibly <laughs> sweet and thinks a lot about things. He's, he's a deep thinker. I mean, he, he, he makes mistakes, but so does everybody, you know? And then he tries to fix them as best he can. So, I don't know. Someday I'll have a playthrough where I, where I maybe I'll, like, romance somebody in Mass Effect 2. I'll romance Caden, then romance somebody in Mass Effect 2, and then maybe go back to Caden? I don't know. My friend was loyal to Caden the whole way through the game, and I was like, I don't know how you could do that with all your options in Mass Effect 2. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, we asked about family, we asked about Horizon, biotics. Give me the update, Major. <laughs> Major, 
Yeah. Yeah, what about Congrats. that? There's obviously been a lot going on. I understand asked me to take over a spec ops program. Here we go! For special operations biotics division. We're recruiting the most talented human biotics from around the galaxy. What's the focus? Covert high-risk missions. Turn it down at first. I mean, teaching? <laughs> I prefer to get my hands dirty. Anderson can be pretty persuasive. Yes, he can. Yeah. Bit of a hard ass, but you can't argue with his kind of experience. Wouldn't take no, said it had to be me. With your history, you're the perfect choice. True. Human biotics are... We're different. Freaks, even. Most people in the galaxy still see us that way. But accepting it, embracing it, can be the difference between success and sitting at home in your PJs, taking red sand. Yeah. Wow. I don't, I didn't, I missed a couple of these conversation points last time. Because I remember all of a sudden it, something came up about his special ops thing. And I was like, what do you, what? We have not talked about this. What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't even know what this is, you know? You've been injured. Sure you want right back in the thick of it? Are you kidding? I want to kick the Reapers straight to hell. Cerberus, too. People near death say their lives flash before their eyes. Well, the future flashed for me. The anguish, the, the families, the children. It made me determined to live. I need to do something, Shepard. To save at least a few lives. Caden's a good man, like 100%. Like someday I'll have Ashley here, but not not for now. For a while now, it'll be it'll be Caden. Of the two, he's the one I like the most. All right. I should probably get going. Thanks for coming by. Take care, Caden. Take care of yourself, Caden. I really do. He's a, he's Listen a sweet man. Listen to me, man. those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. Oh yeah, this guy, he like says that, but I can't do anything for... I know these okay, here we go, okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. Hmm. Ooh, she got like an orange suit on, I like that. You can replace my leg, right? Yes, but clone tissue replacement takes months. You'll need a prosthetic. Oh, no. I highly recommend talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. I love her freaking paint. It's not fair how you can go into this room. I think this is basically only here for one purpose and they shouldn't let you come in. I don't know. It's not bad, but... After playing it, before I was like, la dee da but now, now since I have played it, it's like, oh boy. We're at this little farm. We'd killed a few enemy scouts, and it's, it's quiet. The shuttle gets called away for support, so I'm there for the night. The humans get me dinner, show me around. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe 15. She wants to hear all about what it's like to be a commando. You were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. Yeah. Well, she's saying she wants to be a pilot, and I a say pilot. life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use their shower. Going by my records, you'd been on active duty for more than three weeks. Probably no real chance to get clean in all that time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Oh, there's a... Somebody was telling me once, and I don't know, plug your ears for like, you know, thing that, something that's maybe not quite canon or something, I don't know. Someone was telling me that, um... Because Joker says at one point that his family lived on Tip Tree. And he has a sister, a younger sister. And this girl wanted to be a pilot, right? And she doesn't make it. And Joker never, like, it's never addressed. Like, Joker's like, I wish I could find my family. And 
it's never addressed. Like, you never know exactly what happens to his, to his dad and his sister. Like, but this is sort of letting you know probably what happens. And it's so freaking sad. I will be, I'll be doing, I hope I'll be doing right by this Asari this time. Last time I messed up. Please select a destination. Messed up big time. Maybe I should just go get that lady. Uh, I don't like that lady. She's so stupid. The, like, reporter lady. I don't want her on my ship. I really don't. She makes it. She has a couple cutscenes, and that's it. I don't know. She could be useful, I guess. Now arriving at docking bay uh, well, I'll probably call this one here. Um, we're gonna just probably run around the Citadel for a bit, and then... Hey, my baby! Oh, yeah, hello, baby! But, uh, not the Creeper. Or the Keeper. Whatever. Um, <laughs> my sheep! But, uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, much sadness is to come. We're looking forward to it. So, <laughs> uh, thanks again. I'll see you guys in the next one.